My name is Andrew Klein and I'm here with Marochi for New of News. We are joined today by presidential candidate Julia Lamar and vice presidential candidate Philip Choi to talk about the SGA elections for president and vice president tickets. Thank you both and welcome. Thank you for Thank having you us. <laughs> so the first question, first question we have for you today is um, kind of what was your inspiration and what made you decide to run for your respective positions? I'll take that one. <laughs> um, so, I mean, honestly, like it was not spontaneous, but like we we hadn't really planned on it like long term to do this, but um, we kind of talked about it and we, instead of like just talking about change, like we really wanted to make a difference by like actually acting on it. Um, and obviously like we haven't ever like ran for like president or vice president ourselves, but we really felt like um, we as students like have a good perspective on things because like we're involved and um, we have a lot of friends who um, really care about the school, obviously. So like, I feel like the two of us, especially like want to see Bill and succeed like more than like anyone else. One thing that we're asking is kind of what makes you think that you're prepared to take on this role? And so what past experience in uh, leadership roles in SGA, um, like what background do you bring to the table that makes you prepared and qualified? Well, we might not have a lot of experience in SGA itself, but we're both involved in a lot of other organizations. Currently, I'm um, the social media chair for SGA and PR. So I do a lot with the graphics and I've learned so much already. And I think that's one of our biggest things is that we're so willing to learn and lean on others for guidance and help. Um, in other organizations here on campus, I'm one of, I'm on the SNAP board for nursing. I'm on exec there. I'm also on She's the First exec board, which is one of the a feminist organization here on campus. And I do a lot with Special Olympics as well. Yeah, and like one of like the most important things I always talk about, um, even though again it's like not SGA, but I'm like super involved with like church back home. Um, I ran like a Sunday school that like taught kids like up to like sophomores in high school, um, and I think that was like super helpful in the way like I dedicated a lot of time and energy into like listening to what they need, and obviously like from a religious point of view, I tried my hardest to like teach them what like they wanted to learn, but like at the same time like as people. Um, I got to really know them and like I learned a lot how to like coordinate programs and like things that would like help us get through like the years. Wow, you guys are doing a lot. But um, what are some of the major topics that you're campaigning on that you plan to address if elected? Um, so like I can speak on a couple of things. Um, super, maybe probably one of the top things for us is mental health. Um, we have both have had like super personal experiences with mental health like when i say like it means a lot to us like that's genuinely like um i think like just being friends as well like we've known that about each other for so long so that's one of the main things that we want to address like we have a lot of great ideas and we know like we want to strengthen the relationship between our students and, like resources that we have like in particular the counseling center um we want people to uh, feel like they have a line that they can reach um, and another one is diversity, equity, inclusion. Um, we've talked about this a lot too, but like that's a word that's like thrown around. Those are words that are thrown around a lot. And especially me, like coming from like an Asian, like Korean background, like again, it means a lot to me, especially because, um, yeah, I just like I've witnessed like what's going on in the world around us. Um, my parents are immigrants. Like it's we've experienced racism, if I'm being honest. Like, um, we really want to work with like specific student organizations in order to um, make things happen because obviously not everyone else can like speak for each other's experiences, but it's super important that um, especially like marginalized groups can speak for themselves like that that's something like we genuinely care about. Some of our other platforms are, especially with the recent news, all of the sexual assault cases, we really want to make sure all the students are educated about Title IX policies because I think a lot of students know Title IX, but don't actually know their resources, know how the whole reporting system works, who to turn to, all of that. And so I think we definitely want to work to obviously minimize the sexual assault cases on campus, but at least make sure that everybody's educated. And we also just, with COVID, we know that we don't, we can't predict what's happening for next year, but we wanna help provide a safe return to normalcy and continue um, going off of what Community First has already done to create more events that might have a higher turnout and get more students involved. Um, so just before we wrap up, we want to give everyone the opportunity who might have a question 
Um, obviously, this is pre-recorded, so they can't just shout them out now. But um, I know you have a campaign Instagram account. You both have personal accounts. You have Villanova emails. So if someone has a question, how do you want them to reach out to you and get in contact with you? Yeah, they can definitely reach out to our Instagram. It's at vote period Lamar, L-A-M-A-R-R-E dot Choi, C-H-O-I. And then in that, both of our personal Instagrams are attached to. So you can DM us on either one. And then also our emails are always open. Mine's jlamar at villanova.edu. Yeah, and obviously, like, not everyone might have an Instagram. So uh, mine is pchoi, C-H-O-I, three at villanova.edu. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy campaign week and busy days to sit down with us. Um, it's been a great pleasure and we wish you the best of luck.